What's up everyone, this is Mike from Mike Gadgets Well, and I'm back with another video and it is about the LG OLED tips and tricks to make sure that you are getting the full advantage from this TV and not limiting its performance. So I want to do this video and make sure I show you the setting that I have on my TV and the TV that I'm using right now is LG's 2020 model, it's a CX series. So before I start the video, I want to say thanks to all of you guys for subscribing to my channel and making it possible for me to get 5,000 subscribers. I never dreamed about that I'm gonna hit even like 100 subscribers. So 5,000 is a big deal for me. I know there are people with millions of subscribers, but I'm not really that big of a YouTuber, but you guys are making me big. So I'm, I really appreciate it for your comments and for your thoughts that you share in the comment section and hitting that like button and subscribe button really helps me to keep making these videos. I just wanted to say a disclaimer here that all of my videos that I make, all the products are actually my personally purchased products. I use them on a regular basis. Some of them are um, the home theater videos I have on my channel. Those are all my personal devices that I use. I don't get paid for showing you guys what I have and also like I don't do those kind of unboxing where I get the product, review it, say good stuff about it and I don't use personally. So I just want to make sure I do the reviews of the products which I'm using and I just want to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm just honest with you guys and make sure that if I say something it actually helps you out guys not just to discourage you or encourage you to do something which is not real. So before video I wanted to just say it out and I'm sure you guys will appreciate that now let's just go in the video settings okay we're gonna hit the settings menu and first thing we're gonna go is all settings right here so first thing first we want to make sure that we go to the picture settings and look at this option right here energy saving for me it's always off I mean TVs have come a long way now it doesn't really consume that much of energy so energy saving will not help, but it actually devastate your TV's performance. And also it will make impact on like what you're watching and how it should be watched. So when you get the TV, it's going to be on auto. So at the auto, it will be actually limiting the processing power, the big brightness of the TV. So you want to make sure that you turn this off as soon as you get your TV. I mean, this is what I do. And it really helps me because I see that the brightness sometimes it doesn't it, it 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 will switch if you're on auto and you will see that different scenes and different kind of like lighting environment you're in it will start switching the brightness of your TV so you know we want to make sure that it is turned off okay my second tip is also in the same settings so sometimes you're listening to audio and audio has let's say it's Spotify so it's gonna stay on your screen for longer duration right so what do you want is like some people are like really scared about the burn in and all right. So what you want to do is you go and screen off and it's going to take like three, five seconds to turn off the screen, but you'll still be able to hear the audio coming out of your TV. So if you are listening to music and working and you don't want that the screen to be displayed all the time, to be honest, I listen to music, I leave it on my LG E6 model, which is like four years old model, but never had any issue. Now you want to go back to your TV, just press any button on your remote control, it will take you to the same screen and your settings still going to be at off so you don't have to switch back and forth again and again. So just turn it off, it will take 5 seconds and then you can go back to your screen and you can start using your TV. Alright, so this is the second trick. Now I want to go to the additional settings, same in the picture settings and you want to make sure that your HDMI Ultra HD Deep Color is turned on for all of your HDMIs which are HDR capable. If you don't have these enabled, you won't see the HDR popping up on your screen when you play the HDR content. So make sure that these are enabled for the HDMIs where your HDR boxes or HDR devices are connected like Xbox One X, PlayStation 4 Pro, your PC which can do HDR. So make sure this is enabled. Okay, the next option that I want to discuss is the instant game response. If you play gaming on your TV, make sure that it is enabled for your PC. If you're using for gaming, it is also enabled for your gaming console. What it does is it's actually auto low latency mode, so ALLM. So what ALLM does is that it chooses the lowest possible input lag for your HDMIs connected to your cable boxes, your gaming console, your your gaming PC. 
So make sure that it is enabled to get the 1ms response rate. Filmmaker mode auto change, it's not enabled when you get the TV, but you can enable it. But whenever there's gonna be a movie signal, your picture mode will automatically switch to filmmaker mode. I don't really want it to be like that way. So, because some of the movies I want to watch in full brightness, some of the movies I watch in low brightness. So what filmmaker mode does is like, it's gonna limit the brightness and it's usually more kind of like darker picture mode than any other picture modes LG TVs are offering. So I just wanna keep it off. If I really have to change it, I can go to the picture setting and change the film to the filmmaker mode. Okay, the next setting that I wanna show you is actually going to be in the support section. So from the first, we're gonna to jump to the last support section. Make sure your software update, your allow automatic updates are powered on. And what it does is like your TV is uh, checking for the automatic updates periodically. So whenever there's an update, you will get it. But what if it is disabled, you have to go actually and manually search for the updates. So you might be missing out on those critical updates. So make sure it is enabled. We're gonna stay in the support section and I'm gonna show you one more thing, which is in the LG TV information section. You can see everything about the TV, the model number, the serial number. Um, you can go and see what web OS this TV is using. This TV is using web OS 5.0 and you can see it's right here. The major thing that I want to talk about is the total power on time. So if you look right here, the total power on time is 65 hours. So that means I got this TV for about a week and now I have watched something on the TV for 65 hours or it stayed on for 65 hours. This is how you can tell the panel's life, like how many hours it's been, it's been used. So let's say you get a TV from eBay because people get TVs from online market like eBay and Amazon. And sometimes people think like they're buying it from Amazon and Amazon is shipping it, but sometimes it's not being shipped by Amazon. It's being shipped by some ABC XYZ seller on Amazon. So when you get the TV, make sure that you check the total power on time. If it shows any hours there, that means the TV is open box, refurbished, or whatsoever, it's not a brand new one. So you wanna make sure that your money, the investment that you're making on this TV is worth it and you're not getting um, scammed at all. So this is really important one that you check that the power on time is at zero. When I got this TV, it was showing zero hours and I have my unboxing video. You guys can go and check that out and see over there the initial impressions of the settings. All the patent information, everything is here. Okay, one more option that I wanna discuss about is going to be in the additional settings. So you head down to the additional settings and you're gonna find a couple of options here. You can do the picture test here if you wanna make sure like this TV is performing properly so you can see the colors and everything. I'm gonna click on picture test. Okay, you can see that it is showing you an image and it says that make sure that it is clearly visible and everything is proper. You can just see this one and answer yes or no. If you do no, it's gonna tell you the options to fix the settings, do some enhancements or reset. But right now everything looks good. So I'm just gonna answer that everything looks good. Okay, I'm gonna get out of this and I'm gonna head down to the general settings. Okay, in the general settings, you have AI services. I have all the AI services powered off because I don't want the TV to control the picture and keep changing it depending on what content I'm playing. I can actually go ahead and select the modes which are calibrated. So I don't want the AI to do this for me. And also the brightness control, I would hate for the TV to control the brightness for me. I don't want it to be changing every now and then with different content I'm playing. Um, I would keep it at calibrated settings and I have my picture modes that I know that I wanna select, so I'll go and do that. So these are all the AI services I have disabled and um, only one I'm using is um, the AI acoustic tuning. I'll let it tune according to my room size. I would literally prefer a dedicated home theater over the TV speaker, so it doesn't really matter or a big deal for me, but if you're using TV speakers as your primary speakers, Make sure you go and turn on the Sound Pro and let it do the 
calculation for the room and everything. Okay, I'm gonna head down to one more setting and it's, it is about the privacy. So you have to go to all the way to the bottom. See, this option is turned on for me and it says, it is, it says that do not sell my personal information. If you disable this option, it's kind of a little tricky because it's a, um, it's a it's it's a question that do not sell my personal information. So if if it won't work if it is grayed out like this, it has to be enabled. It should be like this. So this way, LG is not gonna sell your personal information. Let's say to the other marketing people or the marketing companies who need your data and your personal information. So I don't know. This option is something that you want it to be. Um, you know, disable, you should enable this so that they don't get your personal information to sell it to the other companies. One more option that you can go and select is the advertisement. I just want to make sure my ad tracking is limited. So I don't want the LG to keep tracking what I'm watching, what I'm doing so that it keeps throwing ads at me. I just want to make sure it is, it is, it is enabled. So it limits the ad tracking. It's not just looking for like the content or the way I'm using TV all the time. So I just want it to be limited because I don't really work for LG. So why would I keep it uh, on? And mm -hmm. I know the ads, um, you're going to get some targeted ads, which are of your interest, but literally I just don't want it. Okay. Another option that I wanted to discuss with you guys is about the Inputs. So you have to go to the home dashboard and as soon as you get to the home dashboard, you see all of your devices connected, right? You see this HDMI one, I have Xbox one X connected to it and it says that it is a gaming console because it automatically detects it. So if let's say you are, you have a PC connected and you, it's not showing up as PC symbol. So how you can do that, you can head down to this settings icon here and go to edit. And let's say my PC is connected to, which is actually connected to HDMI 3, but it's powered off. So I can click on this HDMI button and I can select it as the PC and hit save. And I can exit. So now you see that it's right here is Xbox connected. And then now here is my PC connected. So this is how it shows over here. Now, it looks good because now you can tell which device it is. So Xbox One X, HDMI One, it has that logo. And also it does some optimization in the background. So if your console is connected, it's gonna turn on that auto low latency mode itself because it, it, it is required for those gaming consoles. So if there is there's that signal that TV is receiving, so it's gonna enable it automatically. So I didn't do it myself. It was automatically enabled, but if I were to change it, I can go back to edit and click on this controller icon here and see you can change it to any option you want. If for some reason your TV is not detecting it as gaming console and it's a gaming console, you can go and select it as game console. All right guys, so that's all I have from this video. I'll try to share with you guys more information as uh, going forward I learn more about this TV. Make sure you guys go and comment section, type something over there about like, what do you think? What options are best suited for you? Which options work for you? So let's, let's get that process going. And I really appreciate you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in another one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye and have a great weekend.